and people who refuse to take no for an answer, even when the odds are stacked against them. They can't stop and they won't stop. Like our next guest, Trevor Kennison. In 2014, the then 22-year-old suffered just an unimaginable accident. He was snowboarding in Colorado, but instead of allowing that injury to destroy his life, he dug deep and he discovered a renewed purpose in an unlikely place. And now his miraculous story is the focus of a powerful new documentary. It's called Full Circle. Take a look. This is the first time I've been here since my accident. I just remember laying there thinking about my girlfriend, my parents, not being a plumber anymore, not doing the things I love anymore. And I looked at my feet. I knew right away. It sucks what happened to me, but it's going to be OK. And I feel like I keep proving that every day. Let's go! That first goal people set is, I want to walk. What happens if it doesn't come true? You're starting from scratch. You're trying to figure out a whole new life. Sit skiing gave me that freedom being out of my wheelchair. I could go anywhere on the mountain. I could be just like anyone else. How does tragedy transform itself into opportunities? He's not just an adaptive athlete. He's just an athlete. Welcome to the Tampa. There we are. So good to meet you. This accident in 2014, um, you hit a 40 foot jump while snowboarding. You landed on your back. Um, you were paralyzed for three hours. You laid there in the snow. You would eventually spend five weeks in the hospital, enduring re painful recovery. Um, you had to relearn basic things take a shower getting into a car, doing dishes, anything you could name, you had to learn to redo these things. I, I wonder where this all comes from, the grit, right? When you say can't stop, won't stop, where did it come from? Because it has to be in you for you to tap into it. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, I would say just from the get-go of my injury, I had to learn how to do everything on my own. Like going to the bathroom was all new. And for me, it was just no one's going to do it for me. And my positivity kind of kept me that way. Were you and always I, a generally positive person? I would say so. You I know, can I, see it in your face. Yeah, I see it. I, I can always tell. Looked at Can't it. you tell? You're like, a, you're like a happy emoji. Yeah. yeah. Like, That's <laughs> a, I like that. I like that. <laughs> so you always kind of had that spirit. And you tapped yeah. into it to go through that unimaginable recovery. Then in 2019, you made history when you launched 70 feet off Jackson Hole's fame, Corbett's Kular Cliff. <laughs> I can't, let me say something. I, I'm looking down because I can't even look at the video. I get scared. I get, you were the first person, I'm not looking at this video. You were the first person in the world to accomplish this feat on sit ski. Yep. Have you ever skied before? <laughs> Trevor, Trevor's like, have you ever skied before? No, Trevor, I haven't. I have not. And you're going to have to come to Aspen and go, uh, go skiing with this. me. I adore you. I will meet you at the lodge. That's fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll, get, we'll get some hot cocoa. They tell me that the hot tub and everything is great around there. Yep. I mean, but this was such a, a big, big moment for you. Take When you are up there and you're, I'm sure it's, it's, spiritual, mm -hmm. it's mental, it's everything, because you're thinking about where you were and where you are. Mm -hmm. How was that? Yeah, being up there, it was definitely nerve wracking, but at the same time, and it looking over the, the cliff, I uh, definitely took a lot of deep breaths and <laughs> I went to that, <laughs> went to the mental <laughs> flow state and you know, I calculated and I visual, vis visualized what I was gonna do yeah. and I executed it. But yeah, being up there, it was definitely, Emotional, but at the same time, wanting to, yeah. you know, make sure I execute it right. I should mention, the documentary culminates where you return to the exact same spot where you suffered your injury, and it's there you attempt to pull off a trick that no other adaptive athlete has ever done. Yes, We have that moment. Let's play it real quick. All right. Dropping in five seconds. Dropping in five seconds. Drop in five, Let's four, do this, baby. three, two... One, dropping in.
found out where it's coming and it's sitting near you. Thank you. Thank you, Tamara.